Okay, are you all done making complete asses of yourselves? Excuse me? Seriously, have any of you paid attention to this case at all? Nike is not the culprit. Huh? But Mizuno was in his room! They had swapped rooms for the night. Isn't that right, Nike? Uh, right! But what about that broken doorknob? Nike knew it wasn't locked, so he didn't bust it. But he... Had no motive to kill her. Surely he could've... That's impossible. Well, what about... No, shut up. There, glad we can come to an agreement. Also, if I had to guess, I say Ishimura is getting quite aroused by all of this debating. What? I must shamefully admit this is correct! This is all well and good, but now we have nobody to victimize. Yeah, if Nayagi's not the killer, then who the heck could it be? If you guys didn't decide to just pin it all on me, then we wouldn't be in this mess! This is no mess, Nayagi. It's quite tidy, actually. Huh? Didn't you investigate the crime scene? Well, yeah, but it was during a montage, so... If you did it properly, you might have found this. On the night of the murder, Mizuno called somebody to Nagi's room for, and I quote, a sugoi booty call. She did what? In my room? <laughs> Sucks to be you, man. I believe oh, this was an attempt by Mizuno to lure the person there in hope of killing them. Gracious! I never took her for the warrior type. There's no clues left. None. Nani? Sorry, what you got, yo? Uh, what did you say? Uh, Kuwata, th there's actually one major clue we've all been overlooking until now. Mizuno's dying message. Dude, what? Oh, so somebody's finally acknowledging that. About time. Kuwata, your first name is Leon, right? N no what gave you that idea? It adds up perfectly. Sayaka Mizuno chose the most vulnerable person she could as a target for murder. A professional athlete who was several times stronger <gasps> than her. D dudes What total BS! That logic is hella whack! It's anything but whack, Kuwata. Nagi, spell it out for everybody. Right, I get it now. You heard him, let's see it. Or would you rather confess here and now? I... I... I just wanted to impress the chicks! Well, that settles it. New facilities for passing the class trial, hmm? That's quite the reward system. Yeah, good to know the tragic deaths of our friends got us a freaking pool. Blasted thing won't even switch on. Yes, it's hard to believe that pressing the same button over and over isn't yielding any results. <laughs> and I can't believe we lost all the cute girls. What was that? Oh, uh, nothing. Let us begin by discussing the crime scene! Yeah, one thing that bothered me was- Nobody wants to hear that. Hey man, aren't we supposed to solve the mystery here? That is precisely why you need to shut your worthless hole. He's been trolling you. What? He did not kill Fujisaki, he just altered the crime scene to screw with everybody. Oh, come now, Kirigiri, don't ruin my fun. Wait, Togs, you're just throwing us off the scent? Yes, but aren't the twists in this game exciting? Man, you're a prick! And your point is? Uh, Kirigiri, how did you work that out? I looked at the crime scene for longer than five seconds, something the rest of you could try doing sometime. Here, let me fill in the other blanks you've all left laying around. Oh boy, it's time for Kirigiri explains it all. Chihiro Fujisaki's corpse was moved to the girls' dressing room, but in reality, the crime took place in the boys' room. The reason for this? It's because Fujisaki is designated male at birth, though I cannot say either way whether they identify as either or any gender, but nonetheless, their ID recognizes them as male. <gasps> <laughs> yep! Now let's never talk about this again! <laughs> I don't know why, but I can just feel my other self chomping at the bit to write an angry blog post about this! Well, she can get over it. We have to find the true culprit now. Uh, what? You got that right?! Uh, I think you got your catchphrase all tangled up there, bud. No, your statement was right on the money, Iwata. And that's the problem. Huh? Holy donut holes! You mean this? Hi! Holy donut dolls! Fujisaki's head is being held captive by that computer machine. No, it's an AI they made. It just happens to look like them. Chihiro made a fully functional artificial intelligence. We're just accepting this? Yes. Okay. Oh, good. The language is set to Mizuno. That's gonna be the first thing to go. Huh? Hi, that is what my creator asked me to call them. What do you ask? Let's move on before we hit another shitstorm. Yeah. Okay, Karagiri, you're gonna need to be super tactful here, so don't... Oh. Damn it. What is this? Apparently, Yamada mistook Alter Ego for an advanced porn game. The correct term is Gay. No. Hands off the artificial intelligence. If either one of you so much as looks at it, so help me, I'm going to crush your collective testicles like grapes. Where the hell is it? Wait, where's- Agakure, right here. Hold on, isn't that- Hey guys! You won't believe what happened to me! My friends, we must punish the despicable culprit, Mr. Bum. Hey, come on, this is not 
not even my name! Okay, allow me to point out exactly why you- You've got that wrong! You're questioning all of the evidence, even though it's abundantly clear that Mr. Bum did it. Actually, there's no- No, that's wrong! Nayagi, I do not care for you. Oh, looks like you don't need me to babysit you for once. Alright, Nayagi, why don't you crack this case wide open? Yes, Nayagi, explain to me precisely how I'm full of shit, as you so eloquently put. Oh my god, you're so full of shit. Wait, seriously? What? You didn't work that part out? I thought it was pretty obvious. I saw through literally everything else. Because that made sense. Nagi, kindly explain this fucking nonsense. I was called the Super Duper High School Hell Spawn because I was actually spawned in hell. I don't think I could be any more out than I am right now. Actually, there is one exception amongst you. One person I legitimately relate to. Wait, what? No. Kyoko, you're just as cynical and done with everybody's shit as I am. I love that about you. Stop this. Stop this right now. If you're ever in hell, hit me up. I'll show you a good time. I have no intention of going there. Oh, I hardly think you have a choice in the matter. What?